What's up guys? Today I wanted to go over real quickly on how to do a data log using your Highly Terminator X system. There's two different methods that you can use. Both are very simple to do. The first and easiest is using the three and a half inch dash. On the bottom left corner, you can see that there's a button that says logging. Once you click it, you'll go to the logging page. On the top of the page, you'll see a start log and stop log button. Simply click start log and it'll start recording all the different ECU parameters during whatever your data log is. S to stop it, it's very simple. Click stop log and it'll automatically save it to file. The bottom corner, you can click and make sure that a file was recorded. And these are all going to an SD card that's on your three and a half inch screen. In order to view these files though, you need to remove the SD card from the dash. Simply remove your dash and pop the card out. Then on your computer, simply take your SD card, put it into the laptop, and access it in the folder. You'll see a folder called Save Data Logs, and this is where all your data logs will be stored. If you notice, some of my dates are very weird, year 2000. I go over in a different video how to correct that. In order to open a data log, it's also quite simple. In your Terminator X software, in the top corner, there's a data log button. Click that, click open data log, and then you can go into your save data logs folder and click whichever file you would like to look at. When you open the file, you'll have different tabs to analyze what type of data you're looking at, all based on what you're trying to look at. I find this particularly helpful for monitoring different things during track passes like engine speed, fuel pressure, boost pressure, etc. The other method that you can do, which I prefer to do on the street, is by using my laptop and having it connected directly to the ECU. On my car, I have a remote USB plug in the center console, so all I gotta do is plug it in there and key on. Once you're keyed on, Simply click USB link on the top of your page and it'll configure your laptop to your ECU. In order to do a data log is quite simple. There's this little clipboard on the top corner there that says toggle logging status. When you click it, it'll start. You can notice that the box will stay highlighted in blue. When you finish your data log, simply click that button again and your save box will pop up. Name your file accordingly. Sometimes I'll just hit the keyboard just to get something saved if I'm driving the car. Otherwise, you could put something that's a little bit more useful so you can go back later and look at your file. In order to pull up the data log, this method is similar to the other one. Once again, you go to open data log, find your file, click it, and it'll open right up. I will pretense, if you use the USB method, you will need to buy an additional USB to CAN adapter wire. I have the current performance splitter cable on my car and I put a remote terminal in the center console. I prefer to have a dedicated USB plug on my center console because this way I could just use a USB to USB adapter to connect to my laptop and I don't have to fumble with the cable that's connected to my CAN connector. This way it'll be a little bit safer and I don't have to worry about wearing out the connections on the CAN wire. Hopefully this video will help you with getting data logs done using your Holly Terminator kit. I'll put a link to the current performance cable that I use in the description along with the remote USB connection. If there's any questions or if anybody would like anything else demonstrated, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks.